Why do you think now more than ever folks are beginning to talk about cyberbullying and cyber harassment? It certainly seems like we've reached this certain point. Um, I think because of stories uh, like Tyler Clementi's getting national attention and because of advocates like his mother Jane. A body has been found. It was floating in the Hudson River yesterday. Uh, Clementi's roommate, Darun Ravi, along with another student, are charged with invasion of privacy. As a mom, it's just heart-wrenching and heartbreaking to, to know that Tyler had to endure such pain and shame and the humiliation that he faced. And this happened in 2010. Let's fast forward now to 2016 where tech moves at lightning speed. Um, as it comes to cyberbullying, are we better now or are we worse? I think We've made some progress maybe in that there has been more awareness and we are talking about the issues, but at, in other respects, I'm not so sure that we're any better. I think maybe even slightly worse. One of the things that we saw with Tyler is there were lots of people who saw what was going on and we call them all bystanders. And we realized that in 80% of all bullying situations, there are bystanders. And there are bystanders in the electronic world as well. It's authentic, raw content made by young people for young people. You know, we can go into a classroom as adults and say cyberbullying is wrong. Here's some examples, here's some data. But when students tell a narrative story, they create a, a fictional film about that, they're gonna engage their peers in a way that adults never could. It was amazing to see the stories. These films that these young people wrote and directed and, and produced on their own really will speak volumes to other young people and may even save lives. So that to me is wonderful.